My name is Jason Barron. I'm a product manager on the Brew Mobile Platform team. This is the only one that's produced by Qualcomm, yes, although we do support uh, most of the other smartphone OSs as well at the company. So Blue Mobile Platform provides substantially the same functionality as the other high-level operating systems, but it allows it to uh, be available in the mid-tier mass market space. So whereas the other high-level OSs generally require an application processor, more memory, and are generally more expensive phones, Blue Mobile Platform is able to run on a single processor, uh, no, op no application processor necessary, much lower um, RAM, and other uh, costs associated with it. So you can very easily achieve a, a sub-$200 device and potentially even a sub $100 device as we're demonstrating here. Well, we follow the modern day licensing scheme now where there is no licensing fee whatsoever. So it's an open, free platform that's uh, licensed directly to the OEMs, to the handset manufacturers, but there's no licensing fees involved. Well, Qualcomm is a chipset company. Uh, we sell chipsets. So what our, what our, our, our value proposition has always been to add value to our chipsets. That's our business model. So we add value by integrating hardware capabilities, and we add value by integrating software capabilities. So in this particular case, we're adding value by including an operating system with a chipset that is free to use by the OEM. So they don't have to create their own, or port their own, or, or make their own. So what we actually sell is the chipset and then the software that runs on the chipset. Um, so the OEM, of course, is responsible for putting together the entire phone, like you just mentioned, memory and drivers and whatnot. Uh, that being said, we actually uh, ship our software on development boards and uh, pre-commercial hardware, non-commercial hardware, with our chipset and software inside and with memory and other components like drivers uh, to demonstrate that the software works. So the OEM and the customer can see how it works and have a demonstration for how the integration would look. So Blue Mobile Platform actually is designed to run on our highest end chipsets as well as our lowest end chipsets. So it already supports all the standard functionality, whether it's FM radio or camera or Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, uh, sensors, you name it, the platform will support it. And whether or not our chipset supports it, the chipset that the OEM chooses, or they choose to use a competitor's chipset or write their own software, the platform itself will still support all of that. And the APIs will always be the same to the developer. So the developer doesn't care if the uh, underlying hardware is Qualcomm or some other chipset, uh, or the software is from one vendor or another. The APIs are the same. So what about developers? They can application. That's correct. So it's an open platform in the sense that we have an open SDK that's available on the website, a pub, uh, public SDK. Anyone can go download the SDK. Anyone can develop software for Brew Mobile Platform. It's absolutely for free. There's no cost associated with Brew Mobile Platform for OEMs, operators, or developers. So uh, another part of the openness of the Brew Mobile platform is that we offer a lot of different ways for uh, developers and OEMs to write software. So the, the basic platform itself is based in C, so you can write native code that's either in C or C++, uh, but we also support uh, highly integrated uh, JVMs, so you can write some or all of your applications in Java. We support a highly integrated and highly optimized uh, Adobe Mobile Client and Flashlight from uh, Adobe, so you can write some all of your applications in Flash. Uh, we also support um, a basic scripting language called Lua. So we have lots of options for developers to, <clears throat> to be able to write software for a mobile platform. We don't want to prescribe for OEMs or for developers what or how they should develop. And do you ship the group platform as a UI, a basic UI that OEM can 
actually, no. Uh, Blue Mobile Platform is, is so open that we do not provide applications or even an application framework. Uh, we have done this in the past, but we found from our customers that they're not interested, they don't want to modify, or they want to modify things so much uh, that they have to go basically rewrite it. So we just provide them an open platform and they go and write their own software. And that's what these are all examples of. Absolutely.